Locks are an affordable way to make your home safe and secure, and deadbolts can give your doors added protection from burglars. There are a lot of different models to choose from, like the single cylinder deadbolt. This model unlocks from the outside with a key and from the inside with a thumb latch. This model is a double cylinder deadbolt, and it locks from the outside and from the inside with a key on each side. Now this model is ideal for doors that have glass or windows. No matter what kind of deadbolt you choose, you can install them yourself fairly easily. For this garage, I'm going to install the single cylinder deadbolt. Even though the garage has a metal door, it will be easy to install. The first thing you need to do is read the manufacturer's instructions thoroughly. Then you can use the template that comes with the deadbolt. Now I'm going to put the deadbolt right here on the door, so I'm going to use the template and mark right here for the cylinder and then right here for the center for the latch. And now that the door is marked, I'm ready to drill. I'm using a hole saw with the drill and what I'm going to do is line the drill bit up with the mark I just made and start to drill. Now I don't want to drill all the way through the door. I'm going to stop when I see the small drill bit come through the other side. That way I can continue drilling from the other side of the door for a nice clean cut. Now that I've drilled through both sides of the door, it's time to drill for the latch. I've added the smaller hole saw to the drill and I'm going to line this up on the other mark that I made and drill through the edge of the door. Alright, now I'm going to insert the latch bolt and then next I need to trace around the edge of the plate with the pencil. Next, take a chisel and a hammer and carefully remove the wood that you've traced around. Next, take the latch bolt and insert it in the door and then attach it with the two screws. All right, now that I have the latch in place, it's time to insert the cylinder. So this goes through the latch like that and then I'm going to line up the thumb latch in the back and once I get that in place, I can tighten the screws. And there you go. All right, now we have the door done, and the last thing to do is the door jam. But we need to mark it so we see where the bolt is going to land. The easiest way to do that is with the tube of lipstick. So I'm going to put some lipstick on the end of the bolt, shut the door, turn the lock, and then I'll have a mark on the door jam. Okay, I've got the small hole saw in the drill again, and I'm just going to drill right in the center of the mark I just made. Okay, now that we have the hole drilled, I'm going to trace around this plate just like I did on the door. And once we get it traced off, we'll chisel it out. Next, carefully chisel out the area that's been traced. To attach the plate, make sure that you use screws that are at least three inches or longer. This will attach the plate not only to the door jam, but also to the stud that's inside the wall, which will make it harder for a burglar to kick the door in. And that's it. You've got a lock that can keep your location safe and secure. And it's an affordable precaution.